Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make crab rangoon dip with homemade wonton chips. So let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by making the wonton chips. First cut wonton wrappers diagonally in half. They should look like this after you cut them. When you're finished cutting the wonton wrappers, place them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Then spray the wonton wrappers with olive oil. At this point you can also add any seasonings that you'd like on your chips. I didn't add any seasonings just because I thought the wontons tasted great on their own, but that's just my opinion. This is optional, but you can use a silicone brush to brush the olive oil so that the wonton is evenly coated. Next, place the wontons in the oven or air fryer at 400 degrees for 3 to 4 minutes or until crispy and golden brown. Your wonton chips should look like this once you finish baking them. Then repeat this process until you've cooked all of your wontons. Once you finish making your wonton chips, store them in a Ziploc bag and set them to the side. Now we're going to make the crab rangoon dip. First chop 3 stalks of green onions. Next, chop 8 ounces of imitation crab meat into small pieces. When you're finished, place the imitation crab in a large bowl. Next, in that same bowl, add 8 ounces of cream cheese, a quarter cup of sour cream, a quarter cup of QP mayo, half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, the green onions we prepared before, 1 tablespoon of minced garlic, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of lemon juice, 1 teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, 1 tablespoon of sriracha sauce, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Next, mix everything together until well combined. Once you're finished mixing everything together, place the dip in a small baking dish. Evenly spread out the dip throughout the pan. Then add shredded mozzarella cheese on top. When you're finished, place the dip in the oven at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. Then broil the top for about 2-3 to three minutes. Once your dip has finished cooking, you can go ahead and plate it up. I added some green onions on top of the dip and served it with some sweet chili sauce on the side. And this is the finished result! This recipe is super easy and delicious. It makes a great snack or a delicious appetizer at parties. Especially the wonton chips. The wonton chips are delicious even by themselves. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!